praise the Most High today, family. Hallelujah. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in the Carolinas, family. I mean, gorgeous. Nice breeze in there. Not too hot, not too cold. It started off a little breezy here in, in Char the Charlotte area. But it's starting to heat up this morning. And family, we do honor and give all praises to the Most High today as we say consistently. Because it keeps us in check. That we don't deserve any honor, praise, or glory for what he has done. Mm -mm -mm. Praise the highest today. And family, I have a testimony. And at the same time, I want to backtrack and speak on something we spoke on before. And that was that poll that we saw on the way to the park one day and I spoke on it and that they had it leaning up against a tree and I was speaking on how dangerous that was but also we spoke about how we all are like them that pole and now once again fam, I'm going to show a picture of it it's now laying back down fully broken oh boy <laughs> thank you father and what we spoke on before also is how this world system is trying to prop itself up to look as if it's still in control, but it's already toppled, it's already broken down. And what we saw with this poll, and I didn't quite get a full picture of it, I was trying to get out the street because a policeman had just rode by. And I don't want no troubles. <laughs> and that's just coming from my former life. I don't really want to have nothing to do with them. Although I respect them and respect their job. But anytime you go fishing, you might get something. <laughs> I'm not trying to get caught up. <laughs> but praise the Father family. And the Most High reminded me just now that that's how this world system is. It's already toppled. And... The little small tree as I was speaking that they had it propped up against because the first time I saw it, it was all the way down then the next time the next day or, or the day after or the two days after I came back through and they had it propped up on this little thin tree with some tape with some of that um looks like the um the tape the police put out the, the yellow tape but it had tree under repair or pole under repair or something written on it. I thought it was very strange. But this morning I see it's laid down. And that's when I actually read what the um, tape said that they had propped against the tree. But most I will we'll go back through and get another picture. But as you see, it's totally parallel to the ground. It's not erect, standing up straight and strong as it should be, or as it used to be, just like this country and all its allies. And matter of fact, <laughs> its allies are jumping ship. As the text says, they will leave the, the whore, they will betray the whore. Praise the Most High family. And also another view of this family is that we're just like that pole, as we said before. And we're, and mind you, it's a light pole. Strong cast iron light pole. And we're like that cast iron light pole. We're to be lights to the world, to our people, to our family, but we're all broken, we're all parallel to the ground, toe down, to our very last compound, ready to give up, but the Most High said he's the way, the truth, and the life, if you come through me, you'll be able to reach the Father, who has his plan for your life. All it takes is surrendering. Praise the Mozart. 
But let's get into this idea while it's fresh on my mind. This just walks itself around into an idea. And it is fighting adversity while striving for the truth. Fighting adversity while striving for the truth. And I want to say right quick what I'm what what the most I gave me concerning this idea. As far as striving for the truth. And we'll look at Ecclesiastes 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, for the most high shall fight for you. Strive for the truth unto death, for the most high shall fight for you. Hmm, I want to speak on that so much, but we'll, we'll read the next two scripts. And the next one is 1 Corinthians 9 and 25. It says, strive to enter through the narrow door. Uh oh. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Oh boy. So family, that reminds me of the, um, the idea we had that the Most High told us that a lot of people ain't gonna make it. Then he came back a few weeks later and said, a lot of people you know ain't gonna make it. Praise the most high, we're gonna keep it moving. And John 14 and 6 says, Yahushua said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Uh-oh. So if you don't go, go through Yahushua to get to the Father, you're not gonna know his plans for your life. You, you're not going to know the purpose that he made you or created you. Or he birthed you into this earth at this particular time, in this season. Mm -mm. But we, we must strive for the truth. And we know the truth is Yahushua. We're to strive to follow him. Mm -mm. Have mercy. We know, family, that as he's been telling us of late, following him, as we see in our prior recording, means that we're going to have to sacrifice it all. Be willing unto death, as this text says. Let's look at the prior recording's notes. He said, A day. Yes, A day. No days off. No days off. Let me get to it. There it going, Luke 9, 23 and 24. And it says, and he said to all, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross, stake, or tree, and follow me. And family, most of us believe that this, this cross was actually a stake, which they tied him to. And he had to, um, then they nailed him to a tree on that stake. But we know that we must, in this sense, is speaking on death. When we say death, we mean spiritually, mentally, and even some physically. And follow him. Now, why, why, why would we have to be concerned ourselves about following the Lucia family? We, we remember as kids, we played the game Follow the Leader, <laughs> and also a game called um, Mother May, I believe. And you had to say Mother May, I, somebody gave a command, but you had to um, answer back Mother May I, before you, you walked out the command. Because someone, someone would say, um, the person who is mother, they would say, um, back up two steps. And, you know, they'll come with rapid fire commands. You would say, mother, may I? Yes, you may. Then you back up two steps. They'll say, um, now jump up and down. And they'll get you into the rhythm of um, action. And you forget to ask, mother, may I? And then you lose. Praise the Most High. But we must ask the Father, Father, may I? Is this your plan, will, and desire for my life today? 
Just as it says daily. Did we read that? Yep, take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever will save his life will lose it. But who, whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. So family, that's what we're speaking on. We're saying striving for the truth. We're striving to follow Yahushua to the T. No matter what it may cost us. And see, most of us in this truth, on this remembrance of who our people are, are having to make great sacrifices. And I think Peter said the best. He said, well, Yahushua, what are we going to get? We done gave up everything. We done gave up houses, cars, <laughs> monies. And I'm putting it in my own way. For this truth. You should say that's fine and that's good. But you will get it back. I believe that text says a hundredfold in this lifetime. Houses, cars, family members, family. Mm -mm. Let's look at another text. And the, the um, idea, once again, is fighting adversity by striving for the truth. So we know in this striving for the truth, is going to be a fight. Uh-oh, Robert, you talking about a fight? <laughs> what are you talking about a fight, bro? We're tired. Some of us are bone-tired, boss. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes, indeed. And I feel you because I'm the same way. And I heard a... Um, and out on a live this morning we were saying how tired he was. And he's endeavoring to make moves for the kingdom, for the most high. And we're gonna get tired, family. We're gonna get weary. But let's look at our um pardon me, let's look at our where our power come, our strength comes from. And let's look at David. See, fam, I always love going back to David because to me, he was so real. I wouldn't be surprised if he, he's in my family lineage. <laughs> One of my great um, forefathers. I wouldn't be surprised because I see myself in him so much. Even to the point where he was out looking over the, <laughs> looking over the balcony, peeping out the... Um, the gals and saw one bathing. And family at this time he was supposed to be out the war. Uh oh. Yep, the text says during the time where kings go out to war, he was there chilling, looking on the back of back of me lusting. Uh uh. And as my testimony goes, family, I had have had an issue with lust. All my life. <laughs> but the Most High is delivering me from it. Day by day. See this is part of that striving family. We're having them divers. Oh boy. Them divers presented to us. And as we said yesterday in the prior recording. That them divers in most of the cases are our people. And we're being tempted by our people. Not to be patient and loving with them, not enduring long and being long suffering, but we're ready to lash out at them. We're ready to fight them. We're ready, like I said in that prior recording, to kill, steal, and destroy them like they're trying to do us. But the most I say is endure hardship like a good soldier. Mm -mm. Remember, we're getting all ahead of ourselves, getting excited. But let's back up to David. And that's Psalms 144. Blessed be the Most High, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and, and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues my people under me. O oh, Yahuwah, what is man that you regard him and 
or the son of man that you think of him. Man is like a breath. His days are like a passing shadow. And family, there's two reasons we um, brought this script out. And one is because, the first one is because what we read last. We don't have a certain amount of time on this earth to fulfill the Most High's desires, will, and plans for our lives. And we got to make best of it, family. And how well I know. Family, it seems like I spent most of my life on the other team. Mm. And no, I won't on no bench either. <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't ride no bench, family. I was I was the star. <laughs> I used to pitch in high school. It was decent. I was a decent pitcher. Although I had a problem with control a lot of times. I would hit, hit um, the ball players. And a, a lot of times you get that reputation. So it helps you out a lot when it comes to um, people being afraid of you. They be like, oh boy, they'll put um, Bobby Holloway back on that mound this time. We got to fight him this time and hopefully we won't get hit. And I would hit somebody almost every day, family. And one that I believe gave me the worst reputation is I hit this this white fella in the neck. <laughs> oh boy. And family, it was so funny, but I was scared I killed the boy because he laid there for a minute. And, um,. The umpire was trying to get him together. And he had this big <laughs> this big ball um, red spot on his neck where I hit him with the ball. And that scared me. But it gave me a reputation of somebody that would um, do some hard heat, but at the same time he'll hit you. You know, it's, it's all about control when you're a pitcher. But I had a reputation out on them streets too. I was a hard hitter for the kingdom of darkness. Sadly to say, I'm, I'm not proud of it, not a bit. Thank you, Father, for reminding me of that. And family, in, uh, in my wildest dreams, or only in my wildest dreams, or I couldn't even imagine in my wildest dreams that I would have people Sending me money for ministry. Talking about thank you. You helped me so much. When I was in prison. Mm. For selling this poison to my people. I would have never imagined. To be quite honest family. I was tired of that lifestyle. But I hadn't had enough. On the most part, I was saying to myself, I'm going to do better. When I get up out of here, I'm going to never come back here. But in the back of my mind, I was saying, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn not to make the same mistake I did the first time in getting caught. Because like it goes, I went back out on the streets, took off on my parole, ran off parole for five more years, went right back to the same place where I was, and so dope again. Until the Most High delivered me out of that situation. But I want to thank everybody that supports a brother. And do know I don't ask for any kind of monies at all, not at all. But if you want to donate and help a brother, I, I appreciate it. And it's not about the finances, family, because I've learned and am learning the Most High is going to take care of me. No doubt he's going to take care of Robert. He got me. But it's so encouraging, family, to look up and hear that ding and look look down there and see such and such has sent me something for ministry. So that means, family, you put your money where your mouth at. Or you put your money where your heart at also. So that means that I've affected... Mm, praise God. I've affected somebody enough to where they would support me. And like I said, it's not about the finance, but it's it's such an amazing feeling that you're doing some good for a change. And like I said, I believe that was pretty much my lowest point when I was locked up in prison. 
family members just on you. I couldn't get nobody to put nothing on my books. But now I got people putting something on my books for doing righteous deeds. Praise the Most High, family. Praise the Most High. And see, that's what happens. When you do bad, people cut you off. But when you do good, they help you. And it's, like I said, it's not the money's family. It's just knowing that you're doing something that's encouraging, that's exhorting, that's lifting up your brothers and sisters for a change. Mm-mm. It's amazing how the most high works. But it says in, in Psalms 144, Bless be the most high, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues my people people's under me. Mm-mm. And family, this is him training us to endure the warfare we're facing. And most of the time it's not physical. Not these days. Back in them days it was physical and spiritual for David. For sure. And mentally. But on the most part, as the text says, we haven't endured to the point of shedding blood yet. <laughs> oh boy. But we're we're to um have the mentality that I do it unto, even unto death. And Second Timothy two and one says, endure hardship like us or with us like a good soldier of Mashiach Yahushua. No one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs. He wants to please his commanding officer. See family, that's what it's all about, pleasing the Most High. Doing whatever he tells us to do, when he tells us to do it, and how he tells us to do it. And we should add to that in the attitude he tells us to do it in. Uh-uh. But we're to endure hardship like good soldiers. See, we can't be getting all involved in civilian matters. <laughs> Praise the highest, as that text just said. We're trying to please our father. See, we're above that now, fam. We're not joining the army. Oh, boy. Man, you notice how people, I'm going to say this when I go. You notice how people come back after they join the army. They're a new person. Whole new cut of clothes, whole new haircut, built, and put on some muscle, and they even talking different. Because they're a new, new individual. And if, if we're to be standing strong, like the rest of these aren't cast iron light poles as lights to the world, we're going to have to go to the Father to repair us. Because all of us have come to Him with a plenty of damage and we need repair. Repair. And I do thank the most high for our family, family. <laughs> for our family, family. Who, um, seeing such encouraging comments, it's such a great um, honor to be in this position. Just by being myself, I'm able to, um, be a light to my brothers and sisters. Praise the Most High. They're my testimony. Family, I, I um, shared in my recording that I went to a Take 5 here in the Carolinas and they messed my truck up. I left it with it leaking. I just got my text back. See, I was kind of wanting to wait on um, giving this testimony until I um, got the answer. I was going to give it yesterday, but I spoke to the Hebrew district manager named Robert Clegg. 
And he told me um, just now, he said, and I, I sent him the information from the Honda dealership at home. Well, he told me to go and buy the Honda dealership of my choice and go and get the work done and give him a call once it's done and he'll take care of it. So what I did, I sent him a, um, you know, documentation, documentation, documentation. So I sent him a, a copy of the um, appointment after they texted it back to me or emailed it back to me. And this is what he just wrote me. Perfect. Just call me once it's solidified and we'll make it happen. No questions asked, family. See, this is what we were speaking on in the beginning about running our miles, wanting to handle things ourselves. And as I said, most of the time it's coming from our family, those divers. And as I was saying in the prior recording, this brother that I had taken a liking to and what I would even say going as far as being a mentor too, in um, this shop, you know, I would talk to him every time he'll come over, give me a pound and we'll talk for a few minutes every time. But he had, um, he had messed up. And that's what I told Mr. Robert. I said, well, first of all, let me say this before we get into this matter. I really like Ryan, but I'm disappointed in his actions that day. And Mr. Robert here, Mr. Clay, he went on to explain why he may have took them actions. The fellow that was training family, which I did not know, and I'm sure that's part of why they want to go and clean it up, is that fellow that went up under my car. He's an actual um, trainer for, um, what you call it, um, to have his own store. What, what is that called? In training for um, franchise trainer. Praise the most, I thank you, Father. So he was actually going to be a franchise owner. So, of course, if you're um, like my boy Ryan, you kind of want to, you know, look out for your brothers at arms in the shop because you might get ahead of the game if you protect this fellow here. He might make you a manager of that location, which Robert Clegg told me that Ryan is like his go-getter, his, his, um, the person he would choose to be the face of that um, that store, that location. And he was, family. And I believe he still is. And I was basically telling Mr. Robert, don't throw him away. He's a good guy. You know, and, and I can understand where they're coming from. But it was a big letdown for me and it hurt my feelings. But the whole point of it is, family, is, and what I'm saying today, shut your mouth and listen to your father. I was going to read this comment our sister gave us. L. Michelle said, Thank you. A few days ago, I was feeling a little somber for some reason, which un which usually doesn't happen to me. But Yahuwah confirmed it in my heart to quit tripping. It felt like, Girl, I got you. Stop that. I am in control. The I am... I am in control, she wrote. The feeling eventually subsided. We're on our way out of here. So, yeah. So, yeah. Appreciate you, sis, for, for giving me that remarkable testimony. And this was under the recording. Don't worry, he got you. And that recording is doing quite well, family, as far as traction. Or as far as views. And I, I feel like it's part of this idea that we're speaking on today. Let's give the title. Fighting adversity while striving for the truth. And as we spoke, striving for the truth is striving to follow Yahushua. Being good soldiers. Mm, praise the most high. We're going to let that be our time, family. We don't want these recordings to go too long. The most high told me, give him 20 minutes a day. So we don't want to go too far over that. Praise the Most High Family. We love you so much and appreciate you. Keep us in your prayers. 
but also remember these testimonies, family. Because as I told her, it's so amazing to see and hear how our Father is dealing with each of us at all at the same time. I didn't write that part, but how He's dealing with us all at the same time. And more than not, we're all going through some, somewhat the same things. But do stay up, family, and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom. Hallelujah.